Hey everyone, today I want to show you a neat trick with VLOOKUP, which obviously VLOOKUP is one of the most used and in, in reference formulas in Excel, but sometimes there are limitations with VLOOKUP, and so a lot of times it's easier to use some ifs, but so in a lot of instances if you have multiple criteria and you want to find the total uh, of something, you would just go to with some ifs, but uh, again there's also uh, restrictions with some ifs if it's text that you're trying to reference it's it's not going to work so with vlookup something that i've i've used as a workaround in the past uh, i want to show you how to use this if you do have multiple criteria and you're you're trying to reference text instead of a numeric value so it's very simple very easy to do all i'm going to do is we have our table here this data uh, of different names of hypothetical salespeople in different states and wanting to know if training was complete. So because right now, if you were to do a VLOOKUP, you know, you've got five different Johns or four different Johns. And so you don't know what the, the VLOOKUP is going to pull back. You want to break that down by state and whatnot to, to give you more clarity and, and get more information. And obviously this is a small data set, but when you get larger data sets, this is something that will be more and more useful. So what we want to do is just create unique IDs for each of the different specific criteria that we want. So what we're going to do is we're just going to reference the name of the salesperson, and then we're gonna hit the, the and, and then I'm gonna do quotation marks and then a space, just to give us a space between our two uh, words here, and then do another and symbol, and then the state. And then we'll hit enter, and now that's gonna generate uh, John in Florida. So now we have um, a unique ID that we can look up as a, as a V lookup, and we'll be able to pull uh, text back, you know, using two different states. So uh, I'll just go ahead and, and spread that formula down, and now we have Again, a unique ID that we can we can reference in a view lookup and, and get the data that we need. So, um, so now that we have that table array available, what we're going to do? Let's say we just want to look up data for for Steve in Connecticut to see if that training was complete. So now we're just going to go ahead and do our uh, normal view lookup. So we'll hit equals view lookup, lookup value. So again, we're just going to reference the cell to the left there. And then we're going to select all of the data in the table that we want to reference. I'm going to make this an absolute value. Don't necessarily need to when we just have one instance here, but I'm going to do that. And then column number in column index number. So which column of these four columns that we have here do we want the VLOOKUP to pull back? And so we're going to do number four. And then we're just going to do false because we want an exact match. And then one other thing to note is I, I did the unique ID to the left. Uh, of the data instead of the right, just with, with VLOOKUP, you want, you know, whatever you're referencing to be the, the furthest left column. And so now we should have all of our information. We're just going to hit enter. And then did Steve complete his training in Connecticut? Let's go ahead and look that up. Yes. Yes, we know that that's, that's the case. So let's say we want to look up Steve in California. We can verify that. Steve in California was a no. So again, a super easy way to identify with multiple criteria. So you could do this, you know, with three or four different criteria or more and be able to reference data back or pull data back to you. So in, obviously with reporting, you can make this, it, it might look a little uh, janky with the Steve California there, but there's, you know, different ways that you could kind of extrapolate that out, make it look a little bit nicer. But I just wanted to share the idea of, of go, how to go about doing this and, and how to walk through this. And so I uh, hope this is helpful. This has saved me uh, a lot of time and, and headache in the past as again, as a workaround. And so hopefully it helps you as well. Uh, please let me know if there are any questions or if there's any other videos that you'd like to see. Um, and please remember to subscribe to the Excel guy. Thanks and have a great day.